gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I had a medical grade chemical peel, which was amazing. My skin really needed it. It has been four hours since it's been applied. I just rinsed it off per their instructions. I have a whole little kit here that I need to take care of my skin, a little regimen, if you will. And really, we're just here to document the process. So this is right after it was washed off. Let's take it back to the beginning. Of course, I went back to see Miss Angela, who has done amazing work on me already. Here's my skin before the chemical peel was applied, and don't mind us, we're nerds. You can see that I suffer from hyperpigmentation, freckles, acne, acne scars, and my skin is fairly textured and really just needed that overhaul. While you're here and you check out this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and allows me to create more content and crazy videos for you guys to enjoy. This was right after the chemical peel was applied. All right, so it has been four hours and I can finally wash all of this chemical peel off and we're gonna see what happens. Now I do have a very specific set of rules I have to follow when washing my face. The nice thing is, is the nice thing is that it comes with instructions, a whole little pamphlet. So I just have to follow these step-by-step -step for the directions to wash all the acid off my face. So this is right after it was washed off. You can definitely see here this color difference in my skin. And I feel like I'm getting some brown discoloration here, which is normal. It is part of the process according to the pamphlet, so we're good. Um, <clears throat> I was advised that Really over the next several days, I will start to peel and I will start to peel more here around the mouth area because that is a muscle that we use, you know, all the time. <laughs> so we'll start to basically peel here and then it goes up and out toward the edges of your face. So here we go. Okay, so here we are day two of the chemical peel process. You can see a lot of my skin is, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of my skin is now discolored and turning that brown. It's really rough right in here, which thank goodness. Even down there, you can see I got the lines. And when I smile, you can see it looks like all wrinkly and stuff because it's so tight and dry. And then the peeling process, I noticed it actually started already. You could see a little bit coming up right there on my nose. <sighs> well, peeling is supposed to start anywhere between, I think, day two and day seven or something like that, but most of it peels between days like four and six or something like that. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, guys, so here we are at the end of day three. You can see the peeling has most definitely started, picked up, you know, this morning and throughout the day, I just kept cracking and peeling more. You can see I've got some pretty good flakes going on here and some pretty big chunks going on over here. Oh gosh, scary. <laughs> but again, I'm just following the skincare routine and uh, I am really glad the peeling process started. And I just cannot wait to see my new face. I am really, really excited. But here we go. Here's what it looks like. definitely tight in a lot of areas like all right in here it just feels like I, I don't have a lot of expression um, even though I do I can obviously move my mouth and stuff but everything just feels a lot tighter ah <laughs> just look at that look at that oh my god so creepy so creepy ah, what did I do <laughs> all right well stay tuned for tomorrow Okay, so after applying my nighttime skincare routine as instructed, you can see I have bigger flakes falling off now. I was advised that I can indeed cut, not fully off, but cut down these bigger flakes with a pair of sterilized scissors, which I already had. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and just kind of get fairly close, but you can't cut the whole thing off. You could just cut it cut it down a bit. It's hard with one hand. Mm. 
as you can see, I'm still cut, leaving a little bit of wiggle room there for the skin because I don't wanna go too close and mess up something I'm not supposed to. <laughs> but all right, even that, that's still way better. And oh my gosh, look, you can already see some of my new skin coming through. Still looks pretty irritated. I just put the soothing balm on it, but that is my acne breakout that I was having that was like all over. Hmm. I cannot wait for the comparison video for before and after. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. <laughs> All right, so I already did my nighttime skincare routine for this. Um, we're on day four. I wish I would have showed you beforehand or earlier today when I had a ton of skin hanging off. It was pretty gross. It looks like it came off just over the course of the day and then probably after I took a shower. But you can see here the difference. I do have one ginormous pimple right there that just is refusing to go away. But you can see the rest of my skin, even down here, the texture looks amazing. It's a lot smoother. It's not as bumpy. I do still have a bit of the redness here, but it looks like starting tomorrow, I can add a soothing cream that they gave me to the skincare My skin is already looking a lot better than before though. A lot of those dark spots have lightened my acne scars. You can see I started peeling on my nose too. Look at that. Ooh, gross. So gross. It's so gross, but it's so fun. Like I'm just, I just feel like swamp thing or I don't know, just like <laughs> Today marks day five of the chemical peel process. You can see here, I didn't have like a whole lot of peeling today. I didn't feel like it must've been coming off in smaller flakes all day, but you can see here that my chin is mostly peeled. I just have a bit down on the underside, but you can see here, I still have a lot of peeling to go on my cheek. I still have a little bit to go on my nose. And you can see here on like right on my forehead, it's about to start peeling, so. We're getting there day by day, but now I'm allotted to put on the Silver Moist Cream on my already peeled skin to help soothe the irritation, which will be really nice. Wow. That is really starting to come off. I feel like now it's just smaller flakes throughout the day, but even from this morning, I can see that it a lot more has peeled away. So it must just be falling off throughout the day now instead of like the big long strip that I had in the beginning that was crazy. <laughs> okay, I believe we're on day six. And it looks like I did peel quite a bit more. You can see my skin is pretty red. I did just put the soothing balm on it to help any irritation, but I feel like a lot more fell off on this side today. But that skin is looking clean.